how to cut a pencil, how to cut the tip off. Had a lot of problem with this. Uh, I'm going to work on my JT experiment document because there's nothing in there unless I'm mistaken. And I'm going to make the pencil. So I'll start a sketch. And I'm going to make a hexagonal. And go with that. Six. Enter. And let's make flat to flat. go. I think that's supposed to be 0.25. Smaller, but it doesn't really matter. Finish. Look at it from an angle. Extrude it. Uh, you know what? I am actually going to cancel that. Uh, I like the graphite hole in the middle. Why do I have two sketches here? Oh, that was from other work I did. I'm going to get rid of this. All right, go back into that sketch. A minute. Put a, I think a sixteenth of an inch. Check your dimensions. What I said. Click one slash sixteenth. I don't know why that's giving me such a hard time, but okay. Back to you and extrude. Good. 6.75. Done. Nice. Okay, we need to uh, carve the tip. So I am going to work in the right plane. Uh, so start a sketch and click on the right plane and look at it from the right. Uh, I have a plane there. Did I need more than that? Yes, I do. Um, I need to bring some stuff forward. I am going to bring forward using the little cube here. Uh, well. That's really not going to do it for me. So, see, yeah, that, that line. Okay. And now I go back over to the right face. So I've got that line built. And I need a line right down the middle. So I'm going to draw one in here. It's giving me kind of a horizontal line. I'll make it too big on purpose. Then I'll escape line. Now, I need to go out here 6.75 inches. I guess actually I'll just use the whole line. No, I don't want to do that. I'm going to need it later after I get rid of it. So let's just do this then. Let's draw here and just stop here. And then come straight down. Yeah, perpendicular, nice. And escape line and dimension here to here. A little funky. I believe it's supposed to be 0 0.75. Yeah, I think that sounds about right. Alright, now here's what I recall doing is here here and I actually the first time I did this went out much further but that should do it take a side look at it and then a revolve and I like to hit remove first and it says uh, facing shape to revolve it's giving me a hard time for that I had it. There it is. And then the axis. That's that axis. Uh, it's not showing up, which is bad. Um, so if I hit check mark, it's going to give me a hard time. Just vanish. So I'm going to undo that. And I'm going to try it again. Evolve. 
remove. By the way, a smarter way to do this would probably be to build it from scratch the first time, but whatever. Not wanting to let me grab it. There it is. And revolve axis. You. Now, I've been telling people I have changed this to one direction and gone with 180. Tab out of that. And let's see what happens. So it chopped off the back side and gave me a nice looking pencil start. Alright, I'm fine with that. Totally fine with that. So I have to start a sketch again. Right here. Um, I'm going to bring forward that entire thing. That. And come on. No, that's not what I wanted to bring forward. Undo that. And then I'll just draw a line in them. And while I'm here, I will give myself another axis just in case I need one. Cool. Finish sketch. And let's take a look at it and see if this works or not. I feel like I did not create enough of a. Yeah, I got it. Uh, and then the resolve, revolve axis should be, yep, there it is. And then I'm going with one direction. Oops, I forgot to put remove. Which again, it gives me a hard time on. Uh, one direction. And 180 degrees, and it is going in the right direction. I tab to make sure it looks good. Check. There's my pencil tip. It should be a hole all the way through. It is. Good. That is it. If you want to get rid of these planes, don't forget you can always hide them. And you can always bring them back. That's it. Good luck.